Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, let's try to solve a Python program. So given a list of integers, write a Python program to check whether it contains a same number in the adjacent position. Display the count of such adjacent occurrences. So given a list of integers, so you have to check whether the number that is a occurs same again in the adjacent position. So here is a sample list of integers that I have taken. So here you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and from here so it is 1 and 1. So you can see the number 1 occurs again in the adjacent that is a neighboring item of the that is a 1 and here again the if you take 2 as an item that is a list item and again 2 occurs as the neighboring item that is a adjacent to 2. So you have to count the number of such occurrences. Here it is a first occurrences and here is the, it is a second occurrences. And if I try to write again 2 over here, so this will be the first occurrences, this will be the second occurrences and uh, this will be the third occurrences. So here let's uh, try to solve using a while loop. So in my previous video, so I have used the same version of uh, problem statement using a for loop I have solved. So you can refer the link in the description. I'll give that using a for loop. So here let's try to solve this using a while loop. So, so yeah, so let me take a variable that is a counter variable to count the adjacent occurrences. So let's take adjacent underscore count equals to zero. So let's initialize this to zero. So now let's use a while loop. So in order to use the while loop, so we have to initialize the index variable. So I'll be traversing from zero index to the n minus one index. So because I'll be using or comparing the n minus one item that is uh, this with the n item that is that is n minus one item that is two with the nth item. So I'll be traversing from zero to n minus one. So let's use while loop while index is less than length of uh, my underscore list will give me the length of my list minus one. So will give me the n minus one item that is a index or the offset. So from zero to n minus one, I'll be traversing. So and I'll be comparing or checking the neighboring item. If my underscore list that is a index item is a equal equals to the neighboring item that is a index plus one will give me the neighboring item. My list of uh, index plus one is a neighboring item. So if these two are equal, so that means the problems that is a if statement is true. So you have to increment the adjacent count plus equals to one. So and also you have to increment the index in the while loop index plus equals to one. And once the while loop completes, so let's print the adjacent count that is a count of such adjacent occurrences are let's take this count of adjacent occurrences let's give colon and let's give the variable that is a adjacent count this is a counter yeah so this is a complete program to check whether the list contains the same number in the adjacent position and count the adjacent occurrences so let me run this program so if we try to see the manual manually so you can see one and one so this is the first occurrences two and two this is the second occurrences and two and two this is the third occurrences the program should print that is a three occurrences are three so let's run this so you can see count of adjacent occurrences are three so yeah so let's change something over here three 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 and uh, let's try to count manually so this is the first occurrences this is the second occurrences this is the third occurrences this is the fourth occurrences this is the fifth and this is the sixth so the program should print six so let's run this so you can see count of adjacent occurrences is six yeah so this is a complete program to 
count the adjacent occurrences. So I'll give this code in the description. That's it in this video. Hope you liked it. Thank you for watching. Bye.